Microsoft 365 in practice. So this is the beautiful Stocking Creek Park. Just another one of our many jewels on Vancouver Island. Simple little municipal park here uh, on my doorstep and uh, filled with moss and ferns and nurse logs and mud. It's quite wonderful. I'm really finding that being out in nature is so important to me in these COVID times, really for my mental and emotional health. Yes, the walking, the physical activity is also very, very good for me. But let's recognize also the benefit of being out in this beautiful natural setting. nine o'clock in the morning here and that sun is coming through quite nicely here on this cool winter day in British Columbia. So one of my favorite places to multitask is in the car. <laughs> yeah, so when I'm driving, which is far less than it used to be right now with COVID-19 calling the shots, but I am always happy to take a trip and drive because I get to listen to an audiobook. Most of my reading is while driving. I subscribe to audible.ca and I have a steady supply of audiobooks that I can listen to. When I used to commute daily, I discovered that I could go through a book a week while driving. And so with that rate of consumption, if I'm not 100% attention to the book, I can actually listen to it again the next week, and it's really no effort. I recognize the multitasking is cutting into the effectiveness of that reading, but I recognize that and I accept that. My attentions are spread, they're a little bit split. I'm maybe not paying as much attention to the road as I should, and perhaps not paying as much attention to the audiobook as I could. So it's not the point to don't do that. The point is to be aware what I'm doing. So I'm aware that I'm doing that. I make the effort to make the driving the first priority and make sure I don't drive off the road because I want to see what, uh, <laughs> what Stephen Covey has to say next. So here's another example of multitasking. I shave in the shower. Who else does that? I, I know a few people. So am I actually saving something? Well, maybe I'm saving a few minutes because I, as I'm shaving, I can rinse off really easily and quickly and all that stuff is just right there. But I also have to recognize that there's a cost associated with it. The time I'm saving isn't much because it's the same time I would fight minus the setup cost if I was to shave over the sink. And I'm also costing hot water as I stand there, scraping away at my face and the water's running down the drain. So I recognize that, that it's, there's a cost and a benefit. And I, I choose to do it because it feels efficient. And I've got all that gear right there and I can just shave while I'm in the shower. So yes, multitasking not telling you not to do it. Just pay attention to the fact that there is a cost associated with your multitasking. You're going to be spreading your attention around. There's setup and breakdown costs you need to think about and they are not going away. So govern yourself accordingly, as a good friend of mine used to say. Be aware that there's a cost and then still choose to do it or not. There's times when you absolutely should focus in on the task at hand. You know, if I was driving a race car, I wouldn't be listening to audiobooks. When I ride my motorcycle, I don't listen to audiobooks or music, even though I wish I could, but it's not, it doesn't feel like the right focus. It feels that I'm spread out too thin in a risky situation. So I make that choice to not gain the benefit of spreading my attention around. 
get your stuff done, do it well. If there are opportunities to do a couple of things at once because you're really skilled at them or one thing doesn't take too much attention, like my audiobooks example, then do it. But don't do it mindlessly. Everyone, great to see you all out there. Be well and take care. Signing off from Stocking Creek Park. Hey, I'm Jerry Brimacombe, and this has been another episode of Microsoft 365 in Practice. Please let me know if you have any questions, and your comments and subscriptions are welcome. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.